Hi guys! Today we're going to be taking a look at just one of the ponies in my collection. A rather strange pony to begin with since she is neither a My Little Pony nor is she made by Hasbro. But she does have a connection and is the grandmother of all My Little Ponies as you will find out in a moment. So this is My Pretty Pony. Um, released in the USA by Hasbro in 1981. This is obviously the UK version which was made under license from Hasbro by Pedigree here in the UK. Um, so as you can see she kind of resembles a My Little Pony but she's a lot bigger as you can see from the ponies behind. Now mine is obviously in her box so we're gonna take a little look at the back of her box here um, which looks absolutely ancient now due to the little girl's hairstyle and uh, looking very dated <laughs> just the general photograph and font of the logo so here it says a lovable pony to care for with long beautiful mane and tail to brush comb and tie with ribbons and this is the information about the UK release saying that Pretty Pony was made in England under licence from Hasbro Industries by Pedigree Dolls and Toys in Kent. It says 1981. I actually know very little about the UK release and can't find much online about it, except that this was sold in the 1982 Argos catalogue. Suggested retail price was £10.99, which I would imagine was quite expensive at the time, but in Argos she was sold for £7.45. Um, before we open her up I'm just going to show you some of the other stuff written on the box. So you can see she features some special features. Tickle her under her chin to see her wiggle her ears, swish her tail and wink. Mine should still work but I haven't actually looked at her for a long time so we'll just see what um, what state she's actually in before I actually try that feature because obviously this pony is now like 37 years old oh my goodness I didn't realize she was that old <laughs> sorry pretty pony so this tells you what accessories she would have come with my pretty pony has her own blanket brush comb and sponge she also has a hat especially made for her and ribbons to make her pretty so Let's open her up and take a closer look, shall we? Come on, old girl. You haven't been out in your stable for a long time, have you? This is one of the few ponies I actually display in her box because she's so fragile. I'm always worried even the, that the sun will come in through my window or damage her. So as you can see, she's actually in pretty nice condition. I'm just going to take her coat off for a minute so we can take a closer look at her. So basically, My Pretty Pony is a larger version of the very first My Little Ponies. I can just grab a collector pony so you can see for yourselves. This is actually this is probably not the correct version to show you this is cotton candy so here we have cotton candy and you can see basically it's like a a miniature version of pretty pony so basically pretty pony was where it all began um, Originally they were going to be more horse-like but Hasbro decided that little girls didn't want authentic horses they wanted pastel colours and um, strange symbols on the hips and Bonnie Zachary who designed the My Little Ponies and My Pretty Pony before, before them this was her original design concept for those of you who want like the history of My Little Pony toys. So, my own pretty pony obviously came to me second hand because she was made, she was made 10 years before I was born. I 
picked her up at Shepton Mallet Toy Fair. I think it was it was 2002, so I must have been 11 at the time. And she cost me, she cost me quite a bit at the time. I thought. I think she was eight pounds. But obviously now, that's that's a good price for one of these. And especially in the condition she's in. Obviously her, her hair's a little bit dry. And yeah, I mean her tail I've I've braided her tail years ago. She came with these ribbons. I'm not actually one hundred percent sure that these are her original ribbons, but they came with her and they they suit. Other accessories, well here we've got her coat, which is a felt blanket. Sadly, since I had this pony, we had house moss in our house and you can see there's a couple of little holes in her blanket now which weren't there when I first got her. I was really devastated when that happened. But it's not actually affected the way it looks. So she comes with this coat and which gets tied under her tummy. Stand up, you silly girl. I think we just have to... Oh, and I remember now there was also damage to the ribbon where the moth got at it. So I've got to be very careful how I tie this. These were all the reasons that she gets left in her box all the time, which is a bit sad, really. She's very... She is a very pretty pony. <laughs> no pun intended. So we just... Tie her coat on like that. Nice ribbon underneath. I should have just left this on it, I think, because <laughs> it's impossible to tie it neatly. But there you go. That's that's basically how her how her blanket fits and obviously she's got little pockets inside this is the sponge I've even got the original sponge there you are um, which would have it's got a little bit squashed over the years but obviously then you can wash your pony down And on this side, she's got a pocket each for her comb, which is a larger version of the comb later used with the original My Little Ponies. And her brush, which is a very realistic curry brush. The only curry comb. <laughs> that sounded really weird. Um, but unfortunately, the handle has got, has got broken off over the years before I had her. Even so, there we go. This also came with her, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't original. Somebody had, somebody had braided some yarn and tied it into her hair. And she still keeps that with her because it's part of her past. As is her hat. Now, you can see she comes with a cowboy hat, which is a little bit odd. And as you can see here, her previous owners named her Della, and I, I kept the name of Della. Didn't have much choice really, because I couldn't remove the name. Yes, she's always been Della to me. Fortunately, the elastic has got a bit loose on her hat, but you can still see how Della should have looked originally. And we even have the original instructions, so I'm going to read these out to you now. Dear parent, my pretty pony is every little girl's dream come true. She's adorable and lovable with a long and beautiful mane and tail your little girl can brush, comb and tie with ribbons. Very sexist in those days, little boys couldn't play with my pretty pony. My pretty pony is like having a real pony. She needs lots of love and care and this guide will show you and your child how. This is a grooming and care guide, ages three to eight. Girls only. 
dress up my pretty pony. Pony's bright red blanket not only looks pretty, it keeps her warm. Place it on her so that the straighter edge faces the back, as in figure one. Use the blanket as a pattern to make lots of colourful blankets for all occasions. I love how toys back then were made to encourage creativity. Um, you were supposed to make your own blankets so that she had other other colours to wear. Nowadays they, they'd say that it was encouraging children to use scissors and dangerous things. You can play with My Pretty Pony's hat as is, or it can be fastened to the pony's head with string, not included. Well, that's made me feel better about the elastic being, um, getting stretched, because obviously it wasn't original anyway. Insert strings through the two holes provided in the brim of the hat, and not each end is shown. Figure 2. Tie the opposite ends of the string under the pony's throat in a bow. To keep My Pretty Pony clean, use the sponge and wash her gently with soap and warm water. Keep her mane and tail dry. Dry her with a soft, fluffy towel. Keep her curry brush, comb and sponge in the pocket of My Pretty Pony's blanket so that they are not lost and are always available to care for My Pretty Pony. Note, blanket is not washable. Tricks My Pretty Pony can do, which we're going to look at in a moment. Tickling My Pretty Pony's chin makes her happy. There's a secret lever right under her chin that you can pull down to make her swish her tail, wiggle her ears, and even wink her left eye. So, we're going to take a look at that now, actually. I have no idea if this still works, so this is quite worrying. I'm always scared because, obviously, she's almost 40, and um, you can see it's just, a, it's just a little lever with a lot of springs inside. <laughs> But let's see if it works or not. Oh yes, there you go. She still wiggles her ears. Her tail kind of moves, but it never it never swished properly. <laughs> you can see it's it it wants to twitch, but it doesn't it never work properly properly. And just as the as the care guide states, her eye winks. It's a, it's a really clever toy, I think, for 40 years. She's doing well. Continuing with the guide. Grooming, combing and brushing. My Pretty Pony's hair must be brushed and combed to keep it silky and shining. Daily grooming is very important. My Pretty Pony's mane and tail should be brushed with the grooming brush. Start brushing the hair at the ends with a downward stroke until hair is untangled. Then move upwards and begin untangling another portion of the hair with the same downward stroke. Repeat until the entire tail or mane is silky smooth. Then use the comb to style the mane or tail. When combing or brushing, place your hand beneath the hair to give it support. My Pretty Pony wears her mane on the left side. The wisp of hair called the forelock could be brushed towards the front. I think it's amazing that they give all these care instructions for toys back then. Nowadays kids wouldn't care enough to look after their toys that well, if it was so disposable. I can't imagine a three-year-old looking after toys this well in this day and age. So, then we move on to styling. There are many things you can do to make My Pretty Pony look special. Braiding her mane and tail and tying ribbons is a great way to begin. You may want to purchase more ribbon to change styles, match the colour of ribbons and to do more styles. You may want to try yarn too, which is obviously what her previous owner did with that piece of yarn that I already showed you. Sometimes it's also easier if braids are secured with elastic bands, not included. Then we get instructions on how to braid pony hair. Divide the hair into three equal sections, as shown. Cross the right section over the middle, now bring the left section into the middle. Continue until you reach the end of the hair and tie with a ribbon. Oh, and then we get some more styling information. Suggested styles, braid tail in one large braid, tie with long red ribbon. Mum, you can even braid the longer length of ribbon throughout the braid by tying it to the middle strand at the top. Braid tail in two or three small braids. Use small ribbons at the end. Brush tail until silky and smooth and tie long red ribbon in a bow at the top. 
or tie bow at the end of the tail. And for her mane, braid mane into four equal braids, tie ends with small coloured ribbons. Braid just one section of mane and tie with a ribbon. Tie ribbon in a bow at the top of the forelock. Or whenever pony is going into a parade or horse show, try this style. Braid mane in four strands and loop each braid and tie with a ribbon. I just I think that's really cool and amazing actually that um toys that sort of came with such detailed care instructions back there. Really did inspire creativity, whereas now it's all about collecting as many as you can and not really doing anything with them unless there's a, a virtual game to play with. So yeah, that's that's my pretty pony, and you have met the beautiful Della today. It really is looking beautiful. I'm I'm so sad actually that she has to live in her box, but I don't have space on the shelves to display her separately to her box anyway, so I haven't got much choice at the moment. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be doing further spotlights on different sections of my My Little Pony Herd, other, other collections and sets, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye!